Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 77. Writing a three-digit number for a model or a picture, ordering three-digit numbers, and identifying the median of a set of numbers. So here I've got all of these pictures that show me different amounts. And we're just going to find really quick how much each of these is. So on number one you can see that I have one, two, three, four hundreds blocks. So over here in the hundreds, okay, in the hundreds place, I'm going to put a four. Okay, then I have one, two tens, so I'm going to put two in the tens place. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six ones. So I'm going to put a six in the ones place. So my whole number is that I have 426. Okay, so let's do the other one. So here I've got two hundreds, put that there, one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and three ones. So my end number is 263. On number three, I have one hundreds. I don't have any tens, so I'm going to put a zero to show I have no tens, and I have eight ones. So my number is 108. Okay, on the next one, I have four hundreds blocks and I have five tens blocks. And I don't have any ones, so I'm going to put a zero to show I have no ones blocks. So my answer is 450. Okay. The next one, I have one hundreds block. I have one, two, three, four, five tens blocks and I have two ones cubes. So you can see that I have 152. So I don't have to break it up with a table like this. I can just write the numbers right next to each other. Okay, the next one, I have one, two, three, four hundreds. I have no tens, so I'm going to put a zero, and I have one ones. And on the last one, I have two hundreds, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens, and no ones. So my answer is 280. All right, so if we look at all these numbers, I'm just going to write them all out here so I can see them. Okay, I could order these from least to greatest. So which three-digit number shows the fewest cubes? Well, you can see that number three has the least amount of cubes. So I'm just going to put an L next to it so I know that that's the least amount. Which number has the greatest amount? Well, you can see that 450 has the greatest amount of cubes. So I'm going to put a G next to that. Okay. So we're going to order the next these the rest of these numbers from least to greatest. I'm going to do it with these numbers here. So if I look at them, how do I put them in order from least to greatest? I need to start with the smallest number. Okay. So my smallest number is going to be 95 because I don't have any hundreds in this one. Okay. Now I need to look for the next smallest number. So to do that, I'm going to look at the hundreds place value and see how, which one has the fewest number. So I have a 2, a 1, a 1, and a 2. So my next smallest number has to be one of these two numbers. Since they both have 100, I need to look to see how many tens they have. So 2 is smaller than 6. So the next number I'm going to put is going to be 127. Okay, I'll cross off when I'm done. Then it'll be 160. Okay, so the next numbers I have are 200, 205 and 279. So I need to look at the tens place. I have a 7 and a 0. Well, 7 is bigger than 0, so that means 205 is the next smallest number, and then my greatest number is 279. Okay, so after I order the number from least to greatest, I can find the middle number. And the middle number is the one that's right in the middle. So in this case, that's going to be 160. because so I have two numbers on the right and two numbers on the left. Okay, mathematicians call this number the median. A median means middle. Okay, the median is the middle number in a list of numbers that are arranged from least to greatest. Okay, so I have some more numbers that we need to organize. Okay, so... 
what number is the smallest number? Well, my smallest number is going to be 85. So I'm going to put that first and cross it off. Now I need the next smallest number. Okay. And to do that, I look to find which number is the next smallest. So hundreds, I have 100. And then I have 90 and 40. So 140 is my next smallest number. So I'm going to write that down and cross it off. Okay, then I'll go 194. Now I need to figure out which of these is the bigger number. So 257 and 239. Well, I look at the tens place, and I, 5 is bigger than 3. So my next number will be 239, and then there'll be 257. Okay, so what number is the median of these numbers? So it's the one right in the middle. So that's going to be 194 is the median. Okay, so that's how we order numbers from least to greatest and then find the median or middle set of numbers. And that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.